why aren't healthcare professionals trained in neuroplasticity? Um, I can't really answer that, but I would just say it's because if your teacher doesn't know how to implement and use neuroplasticity, they're not capable of teaching. My training through neuroplasticity has come really through experiencing it myself, not because someone went and told me how to do it or taught me how to do it. It was not present at all in my university training. And I did a master's degree. I was in both psychology at, at the University of Melbourne and vestibular audiology at the University of Melbourne with the best of the best training. It's a wonderful university. I also had excellent one-on-one -on -one training in my, in my yoga background, I had over 7,000 hours of training and no one specifically told me how to use neuroplasticity. These were kind of jigsaw puzzles that I had to piece together. And I believe there are a lot of people out there who are exploring neuroplasticity and how to use it, how to implement it. Implement it. A lot of people just who go through basic neuroscience at university are going to understand it exists. So they're going to understand the concepts and the theories and the academics and, and, you know, have pictures of neurons and synapses and all of these things. But that doesn't mean they know how to implement it, how to manipulate it, how to use it, how to craft it. These are things we learn through experience and through a daily practice. And so many healthcare professionals have never done a body scan, have never stopped to pause and feel into their emotional world, into their embodied experience to look at their mental thought patterns or persistent worries and doubts, to face their fears. So many healthcare professionals have got no concept of what their inner connection to spirituality is, their belief system and their own relationships. So they just simply haven't engaged in the neuroplasticity process. So while they may have a physical or theoretical understanding, that the training really is something a healthcare professional has to choose to undergo. And like myself, they may never have that opportunity if they don't necessarily have the invitation. For me, the invitation was experiencing anxiety, depression, bothersome vertigo, bothersome tinnitus. I had a lot of good reason to stick with the process and explore it. So I hope that answers the question.